Hey guys, standing next to me is Big Rich. He's with AA Soft Plastics and he wants to talk to you a little bit today about fishing soft plastics for calicos and sand bass? Yes, sir. All right, man, thanks for joining us. No problem. So what tips do you have for us? My tips I have when I'm going calico bass or sand bass fishing, mm -hmm. always start off big. Oh, really? Always start off big, always. Yeah. Uh, from, from my knowledge, I go after the most aggressive fish out there first. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets a little slower, they stop biting as much, I'll downsize to a four or a five inch swim bait. That seems to get them back going again. But I'm always going for the big swim bait, first and foremost. So that first swim bait, how big is these, are these actual swim baits? This one right here is a seven inch swim bait. It's a double A Bubba Shad, one of our newest swim baits. It's a great, it has a little bulkier action mm -hmm. compared to our old, our old style double A, which is a lot smaller and a lot thinner. Mm -hmm. Both great baits. But really, you start off seven inch first thing. Uh, I start off with a nine inch, really. Nine inch? Yes. Start off with a nine inch, really. Starting wow. off. I'm, I'm after the old grumpy fish. Okay. I'm not after the school fish. I'm after that calico that swam away from the group to live by itself. That's the fish I'm after first. Okay. And when you're working these, is it just, because there's a lot of first timers. Okay. All right. So for the, the guy that's just starting out, maybe you can give him a little tip on you know, what size lead heads you're using and how, okay. how long you let it sink before you wind it in, how fast okay. you sink a little bit? For, for me, I always want to use the lightest head I can get away with. Yeah, because you want it to take as long time. As long as time. As, and I, I was taught by an older gentleman, and he's always told me when I'm on a cattle boat, party boat, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. Open party boat. You cast the bait out there, you count to 10, mm -hmm. bring it back. You don't get bit, let it sink down to 20. Mm -hmm. Try to find the fish. And a lot of times the captain will tell you where the fish are. Right. So I start off with 10, 20, 30, 40, and hopefully by then I can find out where they are at in the, uh, in the schooling range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people don't realize that the water temperature varies so much from the very bottom to the top. Yes. And sometimes that thermal climb, they're right in that middle. They're right in that you middle. You don't know where they are. Sometimes. You don't know where they are. And so, sometimes that's where the bait is. Right. And of course they're going to be where the bait are. So you try to count it down. Sometimes you get lucky in the first cast that you bit mm. on a fall. So yeah, then you know they're on top. But that doesn't happen every no, time. No, no, no way. I wish. Yeah. All right, so you start off with 9-inch or 7-inch. Mm -hmm. And then from there, if, after you've caught a couple and you're having trouble getting bit again, then you, you fish the same area but with the smaller size bait? The same area with the smaller size bait to see if that gets them going. I'm, I've been on fishing trips where... I've, I've downsized and couldn't get bit, mm -hmm. but I would go back to the nine inch and I would start getting bit again. Hmm. Even when it got slow, for some reason, that the bass doesn't want to chase a bunch of small fish. Mm -hmm. He'd rather get one meal out the way and he's after that big meal. So I'd rather catch that big, that big fish. Yeah, big fish. Yeah, and those bigger fish, you get that fish that's eight or 10 pounds, please release it. Please, please release please it. Release it. Yeah, but those little ones, if you get one that's legal and you want to keep one or two to eat, that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, those really big spawners, we really like to see you release them. Now, does it matter much if you're fishing a spot like the Horseshoe Kelp, like 70, 90 feet, or if you're fishing over at the island next to the kelp beds, do you fish any differently? Well, for me, uh, as far as kelp bed fishing, mm -hmm. a lot of guys think that there's a lot of sardines and chovies running around the kelp. Mm -hmm. It's not. There's more rockfish like type kelp fish that are running around so when i'm around the kelp i prefer to use browns or reds around the kelp open water i prefer to use greens and blues and whites and stuff like that that's helped me out a lot and in the kelp do you like to cast deep in the kelp or do you like to fish parallel to the kelp and, and cast it along the side of the kelp well i try to find lanes in the kelp okay when you're when you're fishing from a private boat it's easy to find lanes right. but when you're on a party a boat, boat when you're on a sport boat it's kind of harder but even when the boat goes back and forth, mm -hmm. I mean, there's been times where I've waited like maybe 10 seconds until the boat swing perfectly where I can throw back as far as in the kelp as I can. Okay. Now, when you're fishing a bait like this, I know you're fishing like a bait caster type reel. Yes. Spectra? 
definitely, I would think. Definitely, definitely spectra, especially if you're fishing the kelp. Are you fishing 50 or 65? I'm fishing 65 on the bigger swim baits okay. and 50 on the smaller swim baits. Because you're fishing a 300 or 500, 300 or 400 size reel probably. I'm fishing everything 300. 300. Everything is 300. Huh. For me, the, the 400 is a little bigger, but I can still cast as far with the 300. Okay. I mean, spectra is, you know, the so diameter, thin. yeah, it's so thin. Yeah. All right, cool. And any other tips for this? When guys are going spotted bay bass fishing, mm -hmm. I like throwing like three and a half, four inch swim baits. That's still big for a spotted bay bass. They love them. Really? I'm not after the little ones. Oh, that's true. I'm that's for me. That. I'm not after the little ones. That's why they call you big. That's why they call me big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want to catch the biggest, meanest spotty around. So, yeah. And you'd be surprised. I, I, I've fished with spotties with five and a half, six inch swim baits, and I've caught them. Wow. Yeah. And that's just fishing heavy structure or cast beds? Or fishing uh, grass beds. I'm grass right. beds, the, the grass beds, fishing them by the docks. Mm -hmm. Just throwing far back in the dock and just slowly bringing it out. Those things are mean. Yeah, and that's uh, one last thing about the bigger baits and the medium sized baits. When you're fishing calicos and sand bass, how fast do you like to retrieve it? I always go medium retrieve. I have a 6'4, 6'1, 6'2, whatever retrieve mm -hmm. reel, and just a medium retrieve, just a medium retrieve. And when you get when you get bit, he might miss it. So you just keep winding slow mm -hmm. until you feel that rod load up. Then you just wind fast. I don't even set the hook on calicos. I just wind real fast. Let the rod rod do its work. Yeah, let the rod set the hook yes. and let the spectra pull yes. it through. Yes, exactly. Right, cool. Great tips. Anything else we should know? Double A worms. <laughs> yeah. Go to Double A website for more information. And we'll put a link to their website right underneath it. Is it double A.com or double A? Double A.com. Double A.com. Yes. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right. That's been really good informational. We'll have a lot more of these video blogs for you for more information, getting ready for the season. If you're unfamiliar for a certain type of species, just do a search of my YouTube channel. And we have over a thousand videos there. So we probably have a video there for you already. All right. Leave your comments down below. And thanks again for watching. Talk to you all soon.